Today we're gonna take our little tribe of cavemen over here and beat up the ones over here until we can advance through the ages and become masters of the future. But we're gonna need a lot more units than this, so we'll bring in some stone throwers as well. And why don't we bring in a dino rider as well? Because I mean, they're riding a dinosaur. How cool is that? And all these guys here just in the middle bashing each other with clubs because everybody throughout history has always loved to go clubbing one way or another. But it's pretty even right now, so let's go ahead and give our units some upgrades like damage and armor and increase the support range of our range units and oh, the damage no. for them as well. Oh gosh, they're calling in an, a meteor shower. Well, that's not cool. Thankfully, I can do that as well, just so we can even the playing field a little bit and bring in some fresh units. So that way we have an open field to really press the advantage because the Dino Rider is so fast and we're still managing to keep it pretty even right now, which is what I like to see. But now we can also unlock the Dino Hut so we can bring in a Triceratops or two. Now we're talking some serious battle advantage. The Dino Riders are really good at damage, but they don't have a lot of HP. We could call down another meteor shower, but that sets back the time for advancing to the next age. So we'll hold off on that until we really need it. And right now we really don't need it, but we can increase the armor damage so our Triceratops can have some major advantage right off the gate. And they just pound through those basic cavemen. This is looking very nice and they have a catapult on their tower right now, but it's really not going to help them all that much. Oh, now they have a Triceratops. Well then, and now all their guys are stacking right at the doorway. Oh great, they just advanced to the next stage. Well, as long as we're keeping the advantage right where we're at, we should be okay until this meter fills and we can advance ourselves. And now they're calling in some Romans, it looks like, or are those Spartans? I really can't tell the difference. In any case, we're still keeping them at their gate. Oh gosh, they have a second throw right now and he is very fast, but we are almost there. And now we can advance the next stage so now we get some special units as well although it looks like we'll need to unlock the special building again but look at this guy just charging in he's ready to get to work right away and he really does the work today wow oh great the lightning strikes are really not good for us we'll wait till that's done and then call in some more units as quickly as we can thankfully spear throwers are doing good work for us they're doing a little good work for them and now we're just down to one okay maybe it's about time i built a tower for defense as well oh gosh that's expensive maybe not then this is going to hurt, I feel like, because they are very close to my base now. Thankfully, these guys in the middle seem to hold the draw, but my guy lasts a little bit longer. I just need to hold out until I can call in a lightning strike, because that's really what I need right now. Just a little bit more. And there's a lightning strike. Okay, we have a little bit of breathing room now. And this guy is marching don't right care. up. Why is the lightning not hitting him? Okay, Still well, that's care. just rude. Now he's damaging my base. Go on, get him out of here. Okay, now the <laughs> armored Spartan will charge ahead to give us a a little more room to catch up. And now we can increase the gold income from everything. So we'll be getting a little more money for each of the guys that we take out. Very good. Now we can get more of the units faster. And if we wait just a little bit longer, like right now, now we have the armory. So we can call in these assault Spartans, which have the most attack speed, it looks like. So I would like to see a few of these. Very good. And they still have a lot of guys on the battlefield. I hate to do it, but I want to call in another lightning strike because at least we take out enough of them where it almost makes up the difference. Now we can bring in more of these assault Spartans. Oh, great. They're in the e Egyptian age now. Thankfully, even though they have a big number of Egyptians, we're making a pretty good ways toward their base. And it's all thanks to these assault Spartans. Do you really need anything else? Well, maybe a couple of spear throws would be good. And also giving them some damage increase and armor. Now they're really doing the work. Look at that damage. Oh, great. And they have a weird raw tower thing. Just need to keep it up like this. And now we can advance. Aha, now we have the Egyptians. So now I would like to see a few of these develop. We have a spot for a, a weapon. If we just wait a little bit longer, we can get one of those. Although I'm not sure how much longer we have to wait. They're still pressing forward. I'm going to call in a jackal. I think those are, yeah, those are the assault units or the anti-armor breakers whatever they are. It's really just messing up the chariots, which I like to see. Sadly, though, the chariots have range, which I don't have. I'm gonna need one of those. Okay, so now we're starting to push back a little bit. Just need a little bit more money, and then I can buy a tower. There. Okay, tower is able to defend. I should have gotten one of these a while ago, but better late than never. And might as well just call in a firestorm. Whoa, the pyramids glow. Wow. So that's what their use is. Okay, thankfully, the battlefield is cleared, and oh, great. They're already in the medieval fantasy age. Gonna I need a lot of help getting through this. It's weird that it just locks one random unit, but it doesn't matter though. Now we have all of them at our disposal and these poor wizards have no chance. Oh, except they took out a jackal and now there's these guys. But now our battle line 
unit is full of units, which is good for us. And I could buy another slot in the tower so that once we have money there, we can get another defensive thing so that we don't have to handle them getting all the way to our base again. And I'm guessing these mage guys are the armor breaker units. Oh, great. There's the arrow storm. That's not what I like to see. I just chewed through so many of my guys and I don't really want to call in another firestorm. I need to catch up in the age advancement. But having one of these guys and the backup from the tower should be helpful to us. And those satyrs are just out of range of the tower. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, let's save a little bit of budget. Just call in some of the foot soldiers and then let our tower rack up the damage. I could also upgrade the turret damage and the range if I had just a little more money. I think range is being the most important thing. And it's still not reaching the little satyr guy. Okay, now it's reaching him. Sadly, our budget is not panning out the way I wanted it to. I need to call in another firestorm. They're attacking my base. And one somehow did not die from all that. Fine. We'll just take him out. Okay, we have a little bit of breathing room. Just a few more. Oh, great. They're in whatever age this is. It's like the Renaissance or something. But now we're in the fantasy age and the basic soldier's locked. Oh, I don't know oh whose my. idea that was. Let's call it a major two and then a lot of support units. And then maybe a tank. Oh, we're actually maxed out. Okay, that's a good problem to have. And I can increase income even more. That allows to get more units. And they have conquistadors coming out of the gate now. That's fine though. We'll call in a hippogriff. I feel like they're gonna launch bombs at some point. So maybe I should wait on buying a whole bunch of units. And instead I could change out one of these towers probably. Yeah, so ooh, a rock catapult. That looks like it'd be fun to have. And they have cannons rolling out now. Not seeing too much of a threat from them. Okay, maybe a little bit of a threat. I should hope that these mages can do something about that. And then what do I need to do okay i need to unlock an arena to get the foot oh yep there's the bombs those are the bombs i was worried about need to wait for those to be done okay there's not too many units at the gate i can hold out on this and then the conquistador tries rolling up he does a little bit all right now it's time for my vehicle units to come in like the hippogriff just chew through him yep and then you as well very good and then if we just get through all of these horses that should be enough for us to advance because they already advanced to the modern military at least i think that's what that is yes there we can advance okay Okay, good. Now, oh, the armor breaker is behind the lock. That's okay. We can get that right now. And then go back to what we were doing. Okay, it seems like the range units are kind of just firing a whole lot of bullets. Oh my goodness. It's about time we upgraded the tower as well. So let's sell you and then we can get one of you. Okay, for more damage. That's good. And then sell you and then buy another small cannon. Okay, cannons are very helpful with us. I like this. I have no idea what this unit is. But it also seems to have quite a bit of range. Are they, all of them just range now? Because we're in the modern military where everybody has a gun? At least a cannon can do quite a number to them. Oh, no, there's a melee unit. Never mind, he throws a grenade. I'm guessing that's their armor breaker. Oh, wow, he does Enemy two things. So that off. they have carpet bombers? What is this? Oh, my guys have our muskets and cannons. Speaking of, let's get more of them in. Oh, dear. Now we can advance. Let's get in some normal infantry because we kind of need those. And that's a tank. Definitely cannot afford to use special ability. I need to catch up in advancement. Just need more cannons. We're almost to the next age already. This is very good. Very good for us. And that grenadier. Oh, what the world? What is this? That's a freaky thing. Okay, time for my modern military to kick in. Okay, it looks like these guys are the armor breakers, the ones that throw grenades. So that's kind of neat. And these weird spider soldiers. This must be the future. Not a fan of that too much, but that means they can't advance anymore. So we're almost to the end of this. As long as I can take out enough of them to advance my guys and all these range units should be able to help us do that. Okay, we're going to give our support units a bit more range so more of them can join the fight. And we are slowly cutting through them. Oh, I don't know what that guy's about but i don't like it what does it take to get the tank 1100 okay we can wait a little bit for that the armor breaker isn't doing too much damage against these guys surprisingly i think it might just be better to have a big string of gunners at least he doesn't do too much when he finally gets in melee range but those grenades probably do quite a bit maybe i'll just keep a steady line of these oh that's not good that's very not good. Very not good. That was just instant death right there. And I'm guessing these guys are the armor breakers. They don't do a lot of damage. So maybe they're just the basic ones. Although I could see these guys being basic as well. That guy's a heavy tank. And now there's whatever you are. Weird bug eye nerd thing. <laughs> there's so many grenades being thrown right now. 
Wow, that actually cuts through those mechs quite a bit. So as long as they have range, that's good for us. Maybe some foot soldiers as well because I really don't know what else to do. Okay, now we can get the tank. So let's get one of those in because tanks are always good. And I'm gonna save on the carpet bombing as long as I can so we can get to the next age. Okay, one more of those down. And then after this guy, yes, we can evolve. Now we're in the future. Ooh, and we get a fifth unit. I need to know what I need for that. Oh, that's expensive, but I can get it right now. So, okay, our modern military is about to run out. We need a lot more units. And as long as we can press forward with this, we might be okay. Oh, I just really want that super beam right there because this tank is not doing good things for us. Yes, we got him taken out. Okay, I need some more of these armor breakers and then some more ranged units to back him up. At least I think that's what they do. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this last enemy is called God's Wrath. Oh my goodness. He is just super expensive though. Thankfully, we are starting to push back with our heavy amount of tank breakers. Maybe I should upgrade one of their stats as well, like their armor, because I can do that right now. That's very good. So now they last a little bit longer and everybody's shooting. I like to see this. And now it's time to get one of our own tanks. Okay, and even the playing field with our own death beam. Yes, death beam does the work today. And they're already sending out more of these fast spider things. Those are so freaky. But we are starting to push towards their base. Okay, they're starting to sell and upgrade their tower. So maybe I should do the same thing. We'll sell this. Ooh, heavy plasma cannon. I can get that right now. I maybe should have checked the fire rate, but it's also one of the fastest things. The other thing is this ion cannon, which has the least damage, but the most fire rate. So maybe one of those would be good. How's our guys doing? <laughs> the menu just stays in place. That's kind of funny. Okay, we have a lot of guns to chew through over there. Let's get an ion cannon for this. So we can get some more of these. I'm kind of summoning them out of order, but it shouldn't matter too much. We're keeping them on this half of the field, which is good for us. I also can't help but think of the hunters from Halo whenever I see these things, so that's always fun. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We can call in a steady line of tanks and armor breakers, and then once we have them lined up, we can wait till they are in effective range to do something, and then summon another death beam. We're just summoning all the death beams. <laughs> Gotta spend the XP on something. Okay, their, their whole line is taken out. Now we're reaching the tower. Yes, the first hit. Finally. It only took, like, five future advancements. But wow, those towers really chew through our units. This is gonna be a tough battle. I really might need this God's Wrath after all. So let's start just sending in a ton of cheap units to hopefully take them out and hold the line until we can use the death beam again. The death beam is becoming my new favorite thing because it's free. And there's so many units that are firing at once. I love it. Here we go, death beam again. Okay, we're starting with 5,000. I kind of want to wait for a lot more of their units to fill the battlefield so that we get more money by destroying them. And this is looking like a good amount right here. So let's use it and then chew through more of those. And oh, we're so close. We just needed 300 more. But our melee units reached the tower, so that's kind of cool. Okay, now their units are marching on kind of freely. We can get by with a cheap unit to at least hold their advance and then take him out just a little bit more. Our guy has a little bit of a disadvantage because he doesn't have range support. But if we just take out one more of these, then just wait a little bit. Ugh, I hate to do it, but I kind of need another unit to come in. Okay, we took him out. God's Wrath time. The towers can hold off a little bit of momentum. And then we call in a death beam. Oh, yes, look at him. He is ready to do the work today. Let's give him all the support. And their guns do almost nothing wow. to him. Oh, my gosh. He can take them out in almost one go. I love this guy. <laughs> That's over a thousand damage per attack on the high end. Wow, this is the way to go. Yes, just march right up there. Don't even worry about the tower. Oh, he does so much damage to it. Yes, this might be it. And even if it isn't, there's so many guys lining up to die. I could probably afford another one by the time this one expires. It's gonna be very close. Just a little bit more. Hooray! Yes, we did it. We are victorious throughout all the ages. Ain't nothing to it. Well, that got a little worrisome in the middle, but we came back stronger and won the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more, and thanks for watching. Sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Bladed Archer, Dakota C, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Herald, Todd M, and Peggy Sue.